The United States has proposed holding a meeting between the Armenian and Azerbaijani foreign ministers in Washington, Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Elmar Mamadyarov told reporters in Warsaw. The latest meeting of the Azerbaijani and Armenian foreign ministers was held in Moscow at the initiative of my colleague Sergei Lavrov. Jointly with Russia, we can hope for the progress in conflict settlement given the efforts are increased twice or three times, Mamadyarov said in particular. A delegation of U.S. congressmen visited the Armenian Genocide Memorial in Yerevan to pay tribute to the genocide victims. Members of the delegation laid flowers at the Eternal Flame and then toured the Armenian Genocide Museum. The purpose of the delegation's visit is to identify potential opportunities for impactful engagement by HTP with the Armenian National Assembly. In the wake of the fire that broke out at the Notre Dame Cathedral of Paris, the Requiem Mass commemorating the victims of the Armenian Genocide will now be served at the Notre Dame Cathedral of Lebanon in Paris. Since 1979, the Requiem Mass commemorating the victims of the Armenian Genocide has been served at the Notre Dame Cathedral of Paris. This year was going to be the 40th Requiem Mass at the Notre Dame Cathedral of Paris, but due to the fire, it was decided to serve the Requiem Mass in another church, that is, the Notre Dame Cathedral of Lebanon, located in the 5th district of Paris, said treasurer of the prelacy of the army and diocese of France in Paris, Hampartsum, Talatinian. A search was conducted in the house and the office of former Armenian MP Miran Bogosyan, who was involved in the headline-making case of money laundering through offshore company. The search was conducted by National Security Service and Special Investigation Service in the presence of his family members. Officers of the National Security Service are only ensuring the natural course of the search being conducted in the mansion belonging to former deputy of the National Assembly Miran Bogosyan, the head of the press center of the National Security Service, Samson Galsyan, told News AM. The 24-year-old soldier with a gunshot wound and who was taken to a hospital in capital city Yerevan Thursday morning has died. The soldier was pronounced dead at around 11.35 a.m. On Thursday at around 8.20 a.m., the military police and military garrison investigation department of Armenia received a report that a contract soldier of a military unit in Yerevan had inflicted gunshot injury to himself at the arsenal of this military unit. Armenia is ranked 61st from among 181 countries in the 2019 World Press Freedom Index released by Reporters Without Borders on Thursday. The report says the new media served as an echo chamber for the Velvet Revolution in the spring of 2018 that brought a former journalist to power. The media landscape is diverse but polarized and the editorial policies of the main TV channels coincide with the interests of their owners. In other words, journalistic independence and transparent media ownership continue to be major challenges, the report on Armenia reads in particular. 